Let's begin with an empty scene in Blender 2.8. You'll need to have the extra objects add-on enabled for this lesson. Go to the Edit menu, click on Preferences, and go to the Add-on section. There you'll find it under Add Mesh, Extra Objects. Hold Shift and click A to bring up the Add menu. Select Mesh Math Function from the list. In the Options menu, change the Source to Dodecahedron, then change the Vertex Truncation to 1.0. Press Tab to enter Edit Mode. Then press X on the keyboard and choose Limited Dissolve from the list of delete options. Press 3 on the keyboard to enter Face Select Mode. Select any of the pentagonal polygons, then Shift G to bring up Select Similar. Choose Polygon Sides from the options available. Now press Ctrl F to bring up the Face menu. Choose the Poke Faces option. Hold Ctrl and press 2 on the keyboard. This will pass along the current face selection over to the Edges mode. Now with those edges selected, press Ctrl E to bring up the edge menu. Choose Subdivide, then set the number of cuts to 3 in the options parameter. Press 1 on the keyboard for Vertex Select Mode, then select the center vertex on one of the pentagonal planes of the object. Shift G for Select Similar, then choose Amount of Connecting Edges from the menu. Now change the Transform Orientation to Normal, then change the Pivot Center to Individual Origins, and click O on the keyboard to enable proportional editing. Press R, then Z to engage rotation along the Z normals. Use your middle mouse wheel to adjust the size of the proportional editing to around 0.5 or until you see that the outermost edges of the object are no longer affected by the rotation. Then press Ctrl and rotate the edges to 60 degrees. Press Ctrl-2 to transfer the Vertex selection to Edge Mode. Then in the Select menu, choose the Select Loops, then the Edge Loops from the Options list. Control e to bring up the Edge menu, then choose Mark Freestyle Edge from the list. Control i to invert the selection, then Control e and choose Subdivide. Be sure the number of cuts is set to 1. Select one of the freestyle edges, then Shift G and select the freestyle edge marks type from the list. Press O to turn off proportional editing, then S for scale. 
Hold Ctrl and resize the edges to 1.5. Press 3 to enter face select mode, then select one of the triangle polygons as shown. Shift G, then choose perimeter from the list. Switch to wireframe shading by using Shift Z, then press E for extrude. Extrude the triangle faces inward until all of the edges of the faces are touching, or at least very close. Shift 1 to transfer the face selection to vertex mode. Then Alt M and select Merge by Distance. Adjust the Merge Distance parameter to somewhere around 0.02 .02, or until you see 48 vertices have been removed. Then press X and choose only Faces from the Delete menu. Shift Z to toggle out of wireframe shading. Now go to your Modifiers panel and select Subdivision Surface. Change the subdivisions in both the Render and Viewport parameters to 6. Now press 2 for Edge Select Mode, then select any freestyle marked edge on the object. Shift G, then select Freestyle Edge Marks type from the list. Press N for your Transform Properties panel. Under Edges Data, change the Mean Crease to 0.25. Then click Tab to exit the edit mode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. I'll see you in the next lesson.